Hi there, I'm Christina Brewer. I was recently watching the new Lion King movie and the next day I listened to the soundtrack and this happened. Stay tuned and see some tips for painting animals in gouache in this video. I started this process with a pencil outline just to make sure I like the placement of all the features of the lion before I started the painting. I make this painting mixed media by doing a watercolor background and a gouache subject. To put in the background, I wet the entire background with clean water, then dab in watercolor in varying colors. I just want an abstract background. I let it completely dry before painting the lion. I start gouache paintings with the darkest colors, so I put out black, ultramarine, burnt sienna, burnt umber, and yellow ochre onto the palette. I put in the dark areas of the photo reference, like the eyes, ears, nose, and mouth, and after the main features, I work on the shadows in the fur. Good thing there's a video audio mute because you guys would be hearing me singing the Lion King soundtrack through this whole video. I just watched the movie and totally loved it. You do mix water with gouache as you're painting. You can make it thicker or thinner as needed. It's time to start doing the lighter areas of the fur, so I add some white and yellow to the palette. As I was painting, I was thinking it started looking like a tiger, but I just keep going and it eventually went back to a lion. The light areas of gouache creeped into the dark areas, so I went back through to redefine the darks and make these adjustments back and forth until I'm happy with what I'm seeing.
Adding in the eyes is my favorite part. I believe the key to a realistic eye is getting the highlight just right. The light reflecting off the eyeball. That's when the painting really comes alive. At the end, I brighten the highlights of the fur and add whiskers as final touches. These final details are my favorite part of the painting. Thank you for watching this video and have a wonderful day.